Hello, welcome to Maths with J. We want to calculate side KL in this triangle. It's a right angle triangle and we're given one side and one angle. So it must be that we want to use trigonometry, so one of the ratios sine, cosine or tangent. So let's just uh, write down sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And then we'll label the sides that we've got. Now the longest side, the one opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. And then the side touching the angle is the adjacent side, so that's touching the angle that we're given, the 32 degrees. And the side that's opposite that angle is this one here. And the two sides that we're using are the one that we're trying to find, so that's the hypotenuse, and the one that we're given, so that's the 11 centimetres. So we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we're using the cosine ratio. So we've got that the cosine of that angle, 32, so the cosine of 32 degrees, is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So that's 11 divided by the side that we're trying to find, so that's KL. And we want the KL to be the subject of this little formula, so let's multiply across by it to get that KL is multiplying cos 32 is 11. So that KL is 11 divided by the cosine of 32. So now we want to key that into our calculator. So we want a fraction and 11 divided by and we could leave that like that but strictly speaking let me put the bracket in and that gives us 12.97 and so on. Now we want the answer to three significant figures so we look at the fourth figure which rounds up the previous one so that means the 9 will round up to, well, it would be 10, wouldn't it? But that's really going to be 0. And then the 2 rounds up to 3. So the answer is going to be 13.0. You could actually get the calculator to do that for you, if you like. So we want to fix the number of decimal places to 1, because we want the number to, uh, to 3 significant figures, and it's, got, um, and it's going to have one digit after the decimal point. So that's one, and that gives us the answer that we want, so 13.0. And then we would check that the answer is sensible, and we know we're finding the hypotenuse, so the longest side in the triangle, and this has turned out to be bigger than the other side that we know. So 13 is bigger than 11, so it looks reasonable. If you had made a mistake while doing the calculation, so maybe you might have keyed in 11 multiplied by cos 32 on your calculator, that would have given you an answer less than 11, so you would have realised that there was something wrong with that. Whenever you're finding the hypotenuse of a triangle using either sine or cosine, you will find that you will end up needing to do a division. Sine and cosine have values between 0 and 1, so you would want to be dividing by a decimal number in order to get a number that's bigger than, the, than one of the smaller sides of the triangle.